गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी आई एम डॉक्टर सचिन आर गेंगजे प्रोफेसर एंड हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग एट वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर वेलकम टू अ न्यू क्लास इन टूडेज सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू हैव लुक एट डेटाबेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम एज दिस टॉपिक ऑफ डेटाबेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इज वास्ट आई हैव डिवाइडेड इन टू पार्ट so in today's lecture we are going to have a look at the first part of database management system or which is popularly called as dbms the learning outcome for today's session are at the end of this lecture student will able to explain advantages of using database and secondly the student can explain why dbms system or dbms software is required as we know the modern organization create and store vast amount of data we already seen the definition of data is as an elementary description of thing event or activities or transaction and this data is recorded classified and stored but not necessarily in an organized way and what what can be stored as a data numericals can be stored as a data alpha numericals can be stored as a data alphabets can be stored as a data images audios or videos can also be stored as a data all that is termed as a data if we look at the difference between the data and the database we know that the data is simply the description of the thing event or activities and these are called as the data atom but when i am storing this data in an organized way so that it will be easy for retrieval of the data or certain information out of that then it is called as the database and we have discussed a simple example where the class data can be stored as a table of rows and columns where rows correspond to uh, each row is corresponding to a record of a student and a column each column is corresponding to a particular attribute and then storing the data in this manner which is is a very basic uh, uh, table by storing this kind of data uh, in in a tabular form uh, we can see that it will be easy to retrieve the data or generate an information out of this table now what is a database so once we understand a difference between a data and database let us go ahead and understand or get into some more uh, uh, some more aspect of the database what is a database database is a database or database is nothing but an optimal way to deal with the data database is a logical group of a related file the data is being stored into the table and the table may be stored into the file and then there can be a logical group of this related file a database is a collection of data that is organized in a such a way that it can be easily accessed managed and updated so it, it it i can read certain out of this data i can write into this data i can manage the data i can combine the data i can integrate the data i can change some of the data items that i am calling as an updation of data database is also a collection of schemas tables queries report views and other objects so that totally makes it as a database now what is the advantage of database why we instead of storing a data just into a file why we uh, store it as a database what is the advantages of the database the first advantage is that one soft one set of software program which we are calling as the database management system or dbms application provide access to all the data although different users want to use the same data they can use it using a single set of data and a program called as the D database management system there can be certain problems or certain issues related to the pro related to the data like data redundancy or data isolation data inconsistency these problems can be easily solved or can easily be addressed using the dbms system another advantage of using the database and of course it comes with the database management system dbms is that data can be shared amongst all application user as i say there can be only a single database which can be shared by the number of user using a interface software of database management system with this dbms the security and the data integrity of the database can also be increased and then when we i am using the database and database management system data 
and the application program which are accessing the data they becomes independent of each other now when we talk about the database we talk about the database query now database query there are two types of the database query one is called as the select query and the other one is called as an action query a select query is simply a data retrieval or information retrieval query so whenever this kind of query is passed to the database output of that is going to be either certain data extracted from the database or certain information extracted from the database now an action query uh, is is different than the select query please understand in case of select select query the database is not modified but in case of action query the database can be modified because there can be certain operation which modify the data like insertion means that i can add some record to the database deletion certain record can be deleted updated some of the data can be updated or changed also so all those all the all these operations like where the data is being modified then these are called as an action query so as we can see there are two types of the operation or two types of the queries that i can do i can i can have on this database one is called as the select query which do not change the database but rather try to extract certain information or data out of the database and the second one is an action query where the database is being modified now languages used to interact with database are called as the query languages of which one of the structured query language or popularly called as an sql is a well known standard now here we can we can uh, you can stop the video for some time and then you can answer what are the two types of the database query and uh, with an example please explain what are the two types of the database queries i hope uh, you have solved this and yes there are two types of the database query one is called as the select query and the other one is called as an action query let us go ahead then when we talk about the database we also talk about what is called as the database management system data in database is managed using database management system which is an application software database are computer programs used to manage the addition of the data update of the data deletion of the data as the transaction occurs and support data queries and the reporting as i say there are two type of the query an action query which changes the data and a select query which try to get certain information or data out of the database so database management system support both these operation mostly there are this dbms are oltp system now the oltp stand for online transaction processing system that are designed to manage transaction data which is volatile now the volatile here means the data which is const continuously changing so in an organization whenever there are certain transaction going on and these transactions are the are the continuous part of the uh, of process of the organization it is it is they are happening continuously and whenever these transactions are happening the data is being changed and then that kind of thing is called as a or that kind of system is called as an online transaction processing system and it basically deals with the data which is transacting and the data which is volatile and the language supporting and widely used for querying and accessing the database we see that it is called as an sql so this is how uh, we can uh, uh, we can uh, we can graphically represent or pictorially can represent about there is a data which is lying into the database and then there is a user user want to access the data user can have either an action query or a select query and then the user send it to the uh, uh, software this is a software which is called as the database management system and then the this database management system can work on the database and it can either uh, update the database or delete some of the part or add some of the part or some information is being retrieved there can be multiple user accessing the same database same database and that is also the part of the data and handling that is also a part of the database management system now here is an example of how data can be useful data generated by transaction via computer hand handheld devices or other devices are stored into the database we can see that there are number of devices which can initiate the transaction and all that data is being captured or rather the transaction is being captured and the data is being updated over here now this database management system dbms support data queries and report by extracting the data from the database and delivering it to the screen or other output devices so whether whenever there are certain queries or certain information is being retrieved out of this database then it, the query can be passed and the graphical output can be processed 
So this is a quick, you can go through this quickly and find out what are the different database management system. Uh, many type of the database software are available. We know that there is an Oracle or DB2 or SQL server, right? So all or MySQL, all these are the example of the database management system. Now, why there is a need for the database management? or the need for the data management is that data management determine the productivity of the manager. If we manage the data properly, then the productivity increases. Another goal of the data management is to provide infrastructure and tools to transform raw data into the useful information. We have seen that the data can be transformed into information, information can be transformed into knowledge, and then to, in order to get this information out of the database, the database management system is also required. And properly managed data can increase the revenue and cut expenses also. Now managers, where the lower, uh, lower managers and upper managers of the organization, they require information and data for making certain decision uh, for the organization and that is also provided. This information can also be provided by the database management system. And lastly, the data errors and inconsistency can, can, can prove catastrophic and these can be avoided using the DBMS system. So with that, we come to the end, the first part of the database management system and for this, the references being used are Information Technology for Management by Turban and Volvino. The second book is Information System by Ralph Steyr and George Renault. And then I also use the book Information Technology for Management uh, by uh, Turban and Woods. Uh, I think that with that, we stop here today and we'll continue with the second part in the next lecture. Thank you very much for joining my lecture. Thank you.